polite, funny and caring little girl. Please, please do not hurt her. Please give our little girl back. Today, Kate and Jerry have both been declared our Guidos with no bail condition. We have played no part in the disappearance of our lovely daughter, Madeline. The chief inspector would give no details about suspects, witnesses, or evidence supporting the abduction theory. In Portugal, he said, detectives were bound by strict judicial secrecy laws. So as police dog teams continued to search the area around the Ocean Club, much of the information about Madeline's disappearance was coming from her family back in Britain. Jerry McCann's sister, Trish Cameron, was one of the first to speak publicly. The last checked at half past nine, they were all found asleep, sleeping, windows shut, shutters shut. Kate went back at ten o'clock to check. The front door was lying open. The window had been tampered with, the shutters had been jammed open, and Madeline was missing. Within three days of Madeline's disappearance, local newspapers were quoting unnamed police sources as saying there was no evidence of a break-in and that the little girl might have been taken by someone known to her. Police in the Algarve looking for the missing child Madeleine McCann are searching a villa owned by a British family. Three friends of the McCanns said they'd met Robert Murat on the streets of Praia da Luz in the hours after Madeleine's disappearance. The implication, strongly denied by Robert Murat, was that he was lying about his alibi. Last Thursday evening, a little girl called Maddie was taken from the family hotel room in the Algarve in southern Portugal. If you heard to the strains of a campaign theme tune, Don't You Forget About Me, David Beckham led the galaxy of stars lining up to help the McCanns. An official fund raised more than a million pounds in public donations. We will travel wherever is necessary to ensure people across Europe Recognise Madeline's picture. I do feel desperately sorry I wasn't with Madeline at that minute when she was taken. Police in Portugal have acknowledged for the first time that Madeline McCann might be dead. I was there on the night. I spent time with Jerry and Kate during the week, you know, before the third of May and afterwards. You know, their emotions and their reactions was just agonising. There was just no way they were involved in anything to do with Madeline's disappearance. You know, if you take the common sense approach as well and just look at, you know, timings of how things happened and the fact that they're both medics, there are four other medics in the group, and they would know what to do to resuscitate a child or anyone else for that matter. Anyone with an ounce of common sense really would be able to see that they couldn't have done it. I was there and I know that they didn't do it. You know that there are a lot of people, possibly including the police, certainly including a lot of bloggers who have suspicions about your group, who've written all sorts of things about a potential conspiracy theory. What do you say to them? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's outrageous. We've all felt very angry about it. We were asked to comply with the Portuguese judicial secrecy laws, which we were made to understand that we could face two years in prison for speaking out. So, you know, as a group, we've not said anything from day one. And there have been all these rumours flying around and leaks from sources close to the PJ, which, you know, we haven't been able to refute. We would have loved to have spoken out, really, and just sort of put the record straight, but, you know, we were asked not to. It's their legal system, their legal process. We believed that the investigation would be the best way of finding Madeline if we cooperated with the police and sort of complied by their rules and regulations. So.